Buckeye Talk video version from Cleveland.com. Try the texts. But let's talk about the newest Buckeye, Desan McCullough. I do believe that when we had our prediction podcast, Stephen, about the class of 2022, I think Cam Fields said Desan McCullough was the guy he thought would commit next. Now, that wasn't, that wasn't right because Gabe Powers committed. Mm-hmm. But this was one that you could kind of see coming. Guy in Kansas, son of an NFL coach, Ohio Connections. We always know the Ohio Connections are big. I always think Ohio State does very well with parents that know football. So not a surprise, but man, still feels like a big get, right? Big get. He is literally Isaiah Simmons 2.0. And if you look at their measurables, Desan McCullough 6'5", 220, Isaiah Simmons 6'4", 238. And the way Clemson used Isaiah Simmons the last two or three years, that's exactly how Ohio State can use Desan McCullough. And he knows that because based off how he's talked to other people, including Cam Fields, he knows that that's the type of thing he can be, a D lineman slash safety slash linebacker slash whatever. And the way that Ohio State is using that Sam linebacker going forward and recruiting it, we thought Court Williams probably fitted well. He might – Desan McCullough might fit it the best as far as, you know, the, the length, the athleticism, the ability to do a lot of different things. So, yeah, this is a major get – especially for Al Washington, who's got three linebackers in the class now with Desan McCullough, C.J. Hicks, and Gabe Powers. This is the first one he's had to leave the state to go get. This was a major recruiting cycle for the linebacker class. And so far, Al Washington's proven to be the type of recruiter Ryan Day hired him to be. So why didn't he go to Clemson, right? We think he's going to be the next Isaiah Simmons. We know Clemson liked him. He, he could have just gone to Clemson, right? I mean, Clemson was in on him, weren't they? Yeah, I think – I mean, Clemson's just, the, I guess, the first per- people to do it. But now everyone's seen it be successful with Isaiah Simmons. Obviously, other schools are going to try to mimic that. And – but the Ohio, Ohio – yeah, but more importantly, the Ohio connection. This kid's an Ohio guy for all sense and purposes. He moved when he was nine because his father got a job. But this kid's an Ohio kid at heart the same way Garrett Wilson was, the same way Donovan Jackson was. Their parent got a job, so they moved. But, you know, these are Ohio kids that want to play at Ohio State. Isaiah Simmons was like, did something that we had ne- nobody had ever seen in college sports before. Yeah. So we could chill out a little bit. This guy's a really good player. But Nathan, I'm just a little wary of like slapping the, the most unique and defensive player we've seen in college football in a decade. This kid's just like him, right? Tiny bit of caution. Yeah. So it's, he's an interesting prospect when you look at him because you'll see in his very recent history, he's had a lot of experience playing cornerback, playing safety, playing uh, in the slot, just, you know, different things like that. And in addition to playing linebacker, and then you get to his size and you see 6'5", 220, and you're like, well, that ain't going to work. He's going to have to be somewhere else. So um, in those ways, yes, it, you know, he, he positionally and size-wise, he resembles Isaiah Simmons. But um, position and size didn't make Isaiah Simmons Isaiah Simmons. He did those things because he's Isaiah Simmons. Like that, that's what sets him apart. So um, I, I think what's, what, what is interesting though, is I see, I think CJ Hicks is not quite to this extent, but is another guy who ha- is coming in with some versatility. And that seems to be something that Al Washington is kind of um, priding himself on. And that, some of that is just the way that football might be changing a little bit. And maybe you're just naturally trying to find more of those kinds of athletes to play linebacker. But um, while well, Gabe Powers to me, and, and from talking, you're hearing him and, and looking at him, seems like just a linebacker, like, a, a, you know, just a, a good old fashioned linebacker. Same with Reed Carrico. They're also supplementing that with these other guys who ha- have the kind of versatility to maybe we don't know exactly how they're going to get used at Ohio State yet. And that might be a good thing because they can do what they did with Isaiah Simmons at Clemson and kind of make them kind of a focal point of what they do with the defense rather which than we, trying to rather than trying to fit them into what they already do which we saw a little bit at in the one practice that we got to watch before the world went all all, all types of crazy pete warner was in a couple positions obviously we know Bar- where baron brown is moving now but outside of maybe that middle linebacker spot with taraja mitchell and tough borland Guys were moving around and kind of interchanging the places. And Justin Hilliard said that everyone's kind of playing everywhere to figure some things out. So I know the personnel might not be the same, but that seems like something our Washington already wants to do and implement with the guys they already have on the roster is, yeah, you came in as maybe an inside linebacker, maybe an outside linebacker, but I want you to be able to play all three spots. I mean, Isaiah Simmons played Isaiah Simmons on the Clemson defense. Yeah. That was his position. So you can't replicate that exactly however 
I do think a lot of things that teams do, and it's why Ohio State likes to go five wide with their tight end and then running back on the field. You want to be able to do things schematically where the personnel doesn't dictate what you then come out and look like. That if you could have a guy who, when he's in the huddle, or when he comes on the field, well, you think, well, he might be in the backfield, or he might be in the slot, or he might Mm -hmm. be split out wide. If you have a guy on the field that we keep talking about, and this is what the bullet, I think, ideally is. It's, well, is it, is it a cover guy? Is it a linebacker? Can you blitz with him? And the answer is yes. You don't the have answer to is all of those things. 